Hashtag when your whole day is hijacked by a screaming baby. Michelle, are you not happy today? No, are you teething? What is it? Lots to do today. Um, but right now the medicine ball is the only thing keeping her uh, happy. So do what you gotta do. <laughs> So I woke up at 6.30 um, before Libby left for work and I uh, was hoping to get a couple of hours of quiet time reading, but uh, Michelle didn't sleep this morning. Little did I know it was going to be a catalyst for the day. She usually naps around 10.30. Just got her down. It's 12.15 for the first time. That may not sound like a huge uh, difference, but it's the difference between two hours of screaming baby and two hours of not screaming baby. <laughs> It's kind of how my morning has been. I had uh, some ideas for the vlog, and uh, but I'm going to change courses here. Let's talk about books. Um, so I went to Half Price Books. I think it was Tuesday. That's right, folks. Half Price Books. There's my fix. Uh, I picked up a couple of books. Um, this one called The Virgin and the Gypsy. Now lately I've been reading a lot of old-timey authors and uh, well it didn't take a sentence, I was about a sentence in reading the back of this book and I decided to buy it. The Virgin and the Gypsy was discovered in France after D.H. Lawrence's death in 1930. I was like, I'm in. <laughs> I also picked up a book called Breaking the Spell by Daniel Dennett. I'm into reading uh, religion and philosophy of all, all kinds so that'll be fun. Um, now, like I said, I've been reading some older authors. I just finished a really great book by John Steinbeck called The East of Eden Letters. This is just kind of um, letters he wrote to his publicist and, and, and provides a lot of insight into his writing and to his life. So it was really interesting. And as a result, I'm looking forward to reading some of his books, The Grapes of, Grapes of Wrath, which I'm sure I was supposed to read in high school but didn't. Um, Libby and I are uh, reading, rereading the Diving Bell and the Butterfly, one of the greatest books of all time. Brilliant way with words. The guy um, was a kind of a notable uh, journalist in France, had uh, had a stroke and got locked in syndrome, which is, you know, basically where you have no movement. Um, I think only one of his eyes, he could blink one of his eyes and that's how he dictated the book. Um, so fascinating read. Lastly, uh, Seneca, Letters from a Stoic. This is one I'm kind of just uh, picking up every now and then, you know, with a cup of coffee. And it's basically, basically like wisdom literature. It talks a lot about poverty, uh, justice, morality, and that kind of thing. Um, that is the lineup of books I wanted to mention. Um, hopefully this is a topic that can kind of come around now and again. Let me know what books you're reading, uh, what books you recommend for me to read. Who knows, maybe I'll pick up some of them and talk about them in a, in a future blog, vlog post. Ah, the land of Aldi. You know how you're supposed to put up your cart at Aldi? Yeah, about that. Screamy baby bail! Couldn't find a pair of scissors, so. So it looks like we have a, a little container here, as you can see. Very important. And uh, this is the Newbie Soothing Teether. There you have it, folks. <laughs> about a, a diaper and a, and a bow.